right back at you with another one. My name is Chris. Hey, my name is Mark. And we are the ISO, ISO Swiss, Swiss Show. Show. And on today's episode, we got one of the hottest young dudes from the DMV, high school guy. He's getting ready to head off to Duke University. Oh, we got yeah. him. And we got my man, Obi. Not Obi-Wan Kenobi, but Obi Toppin. We're going to talk about him. How about the shoes, Mark? The shoes, we got the Nike SB Oski. And uh, if you did the Shark Week from the National Geographic Channel, You'll dig these shoes. Dig Trust it. me. Yeah. Yeah, you'll dig it. So, hey, with that said, man, are you ready? Always ready. Mark, my man. Let's, let's go. Kansas. Kansas State. Stop tripping. Stop tripping. This is one of the worst fight situations that we've seen since when? The Malice in the Palace? Yeah. yeah. And it was just ridiculous. And the, the biggest ridiculousness about this whole thing is, is wh who, who's on camera the whole time fighting? Right. The, 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 players, the players. The players. The whole and time these players this. are of color. And it irritates to me that these guys are getting an opportunity to better themselves, be it academically, athletically, whatever the case may be. Right. And they ruin this situation because they want to big up somebody because the guy stole the ball from him and went down and tried to dunk on him. Right. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. Stop tripping. We want to send out condolences to the family and friends of Morgan Wooten from DeMatha High School. Uh, he was my friend. My my freshman high school history teacher back wow. in 1983, uh, one of the greatest coaches and one of the greatest teachers probably this world has ever seen. He could have coached, you know, of course, at the high school level, but also he could have coached in college. He could have coached um, in the NBA as well. Um, Mark, what do you have to say? Yeah, just uh, an amazing coach, uh, legendary Hall of Fame coach mm -hmm. from the area. Uh, I got a chance to meet him one time at an officials camp. And he just sat, he stood there and talked to me about 10 minutes for, for you know, he didn't have to, but uh, just a great guy, uh, an amazing, amazing coach. Uh, we want to send our condolences to the family, Morgan Wooten. Morgan Wooten, one love, one DeMatha, never be forgotten. Right on. All right, let's talk some high school hoops, man. Uh, Jeremy Roach is who we're going to talk about Jeremy. today. Jeremy. Dynamite young player from Paul the Six in the local area from Fairfax, a uh, six-two guard, can get after it. Yes, um, he he's, was. He's he can go. He can go. Uh, we saw. I saw him last week uh, on ESPN, and he was doing his thing, flying all over the place, man. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a wealth of talent. He's going to be going to going to Duke in the fall. Yes. Of course, Chris loves that. Uh, he's going to be probably the 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 uh, next guy after Trey. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what do you think about Jeremy Roach? I think, I think he's flat out fantastic. Um, I've seen him play, I don't know, half dozen times over yeah. the uh, yeah. last few years. He did have a major uh, ACL injury last year, like his junior year. But regardless, he's back. He's healthy. His leg looks strong. Yeah. They played uh, Bronny's team, Sierra That's right. Canyon. Sierra That's who was carrying. Yes. And he made them – them dudes look like some fools. They, they destroyed them. They destroyed them. <laughs> they they destroyed, destroyed them. And they yeah. were supposed to be like one of the, they were ranked, I think, a little bit higher. Right. Um, so I think Paul the Six is like 14th or 15th in the nation right now. Yeah. Um, he's great. He played on the, um, on the U16 and U17 teams for the United States, won five or six gold medals for them. Right. He is really, really good, and I'm really, really happy yeah, that no, he's you going are. to do. Yeah, they got a, um, they got a, they got a player coming to do. That's, yeah, that's a, yeah, without a, a doubt. I think they're going to have a really strong yeah. class coming this year. I look forward to him. I, I think he's. He's one of those point guards, kind of like a Paul, a Paul, um, a Chris Paul mm -hmm. type, where he's really crafty. Um, he is very athletic, but he's really crafty, really savvy. I think he's going to make Coach K and all the Shashevskyville guys down there just go wow. And that's the, that seems to be the thing with Duke, man. They have some really athletic point guards. This guy can fly, man. He, he gets up off the floor, off the floor. Uh, he's got a decent jump shot. He gets mm -hmm. after it defensively. Yes, and that's yes. what that's what yes. of course the Duke program is probably all about, man. And they right. um, we, they got they got a winner in, in Jeremy Roach, man. So that's our high school spotlight player of the week, Jeremy mm -hmm. Roach. Kick time is back. I love it. Mark, you told me it was Shark Week this week. <laughs> you know, and actually, I said National Geographic, and Gretchen uh, corrected me. It's the Discovery Channel. Who cares? My bad. Who but, cares? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk no, shoes, right. baby. Let's talk shoes. I want to be shoes. right. I want to okay. be right. Anyway, but, um, so tell me about these shoes. Mark. So, hey, we got a collaboration with Nike again. I can say collaboration a lot, but Nike is doing uh, doing some stuff with uh, Oscar Rosenberg, mm -hmm. and he's a skateboarder and nicknamed Always Oski. Always the skateboarders. Oh, I, I'm, you know, I'm fascinated by these S, these Nike SBs mm -hmm. uh, because they're so comfortable, man. They're 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 a great fit. Right. Uh, they're pretty rugged, and this one is just freaky. 
I mean, it's, it's so, an orange so label collection. Just, just right off the top. Yeah. The Nike swoosh is a shark. Correct. First time Nike has done that ever. They've actually okay. converted the swoosh into a shark. And he has this thing about, now Oscar Rosenberg has this thing about, you know, sharks being the king of the water and uh, the king of the ocean. And then you're mastering your skill of skateboarding. And it, it's all, it all ties into that somehow. Okay. But um, okay, and that's that's the that's the thing about the shoe. It's got a, it's got a, a, a tumble leather on here, a, mm -hmm. a, a, a suede ish kind of kind of kind of group right. feel, yeah, feel to it. Yeah, it feels like suede. Yeah. But um, you know, I'm not really, I don't really love the high tops so much. But this one is really comfortable. Um, so it's a good shoe. I mean, Oscar Rosenberg, uh, mm -hmm. they're they're really getting in touch with these these skate boys, do Eric Costin and all these other guys, and they're doing these collaborations, and they they they're selling out, and these they sold out wow. big time. Yeah, wow. So, awesome. my man, what uh, the question is, man, would you uh, rock these? I mean, if we can get the shark off that bad boy. I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, what? Let's strip this bad boy man. off. Wow. But that and is nah, a topic of conversation are, alone no, no, with the shark. No, I, I, I love the fact that they, they, they're just different. And I think yeah. that's very, very cool. Um, I like the fact that there is a shark on there. I think that's yeah. super cool. Um, and it does kind of look like a swoosh. To a yeah. certain degree, I mean, it's I the think same that's design. great, and I yeah. like the fact that they're very low key. Only one color. Well, that, that's and, my and, thing. I thought you, you know, would like that. Yeah. Yes, and, and all that. So yeah, I would. I would definitely right. wear these. Cool. Um, cool. I can't skateboard. But yeah, neither can I. I, I would definitely wear them. That, yeah. That's for sure. So these are what? These are the Nike SB Oski uh, Oski. Mm -hmm. That's it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> We got our own OB, OB Toppin of Dayton University. And this guy is completely fantastic. Came out of nowhere. I didn't know anything about this guy a couple yeah. months ago. Tell me about OB, Mark. Man, he's a 6'9 six, six, dude out of Brooklyn. And, uh, man, I watched a couple of videos of him uh, over the past couple of days, man, and he just gets after it. He is a baller. Freak. Freak, man. You mentioned the fact that he's like a Amari Stoudemire clone, he, man. That's what he reminds yeah. me of. He, yeah. he can really, really jump. Uh, there was one game a couple of weeks ago. He had 10 dunks in the game. Wow. Yeah, he, he just, he's just ridiculous. He just flat out ridiculous. I man. love the way he plays, man. I mean, he, he plays at the top of the key. Mm -hmm. He comes out, his textbook set in the screen and, and picks and rolls, and they just they lob it to him. But he's, he's, I mean, he's, he gets after that quickly. Right, uh, he right, goes right. to the basket with 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 the quickness, man. and not too many people in college basketball can jump with him. Right, and him being already six nine, he's just jumping over top of people. You right. know, and I I just love the way he plays. He can definitely still hit the jump shot, take you outside. Yeah, right now he's projected ten eight or nine um, in in the twenty twenty draft. Right, uh, you will definitely be seeing him on draft day, definitely without a doubt. Um, so that's that's a little quick a little spotlight on Obi. Toppin from Dayton University. Number seven in the country. Remember that name, folks. Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin. Obi. Thank you guys for watching the show today. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We mm -hmm. love the feedback, man. We love answering people and just chit-chatting with Talk. everyone. We love that. Yes, so thanks again for watching the show. My name is Mark. My name is Chris. And we are the ISO, ISO Swiss, Swiss Show. show and, and we, we are out. out.